detail. Uh, just do a few quick things here. Uh, just getting ready to head up to another trip. We've got a uh, big focus I think we'll do on that one. I'll show you how to go about uh, preparing a couple of easy meals. I'm going to cook some pizza in the reflector oven. Okay, so that's the pizza sauce. And that's just the, uh, the sauce out of one of these uh, pizza kits here. So there's my sauce. Dehydrated it yesterday in the old dehydrator. It's a bit of a mess. Uh, but that's the sauce. So we'll add that over there. We've got some mushrooms. We'll pick up a few things. The store today is good to go tomorrow. And this is my spaghetti sauce. I did tomato paste last night in there as well. So it's tomato sauce and tomato paste made into fruit leather. Uh, so also dehydrated mushrooms, peppers, and the rest of it. I'll show you some of that. Took some footage, maybe some time off, so that it works. So where are we off to? We are off to a um, lake called Kilvert Lake. Uh, Campsite one. We've got a very good swimming rock and canoe landing here. We head up the path to the main fire pit area. So we have pretty good. Uh, We've got a nice fire pit. I had to change it around a little bit just because I do cook with the reflector oven. Uh, I left some wood here. There was some for us. So you probably could set one up over there. A little area here. Come up the rock face here. There might be something. Like I say right there. That's the one we saw from the other side. Where the really good spots are is back over here. I do have a picnic table here. Lots of room for tarps and more hammockers. One tent uh, we had set up back here. Apparently there is a uh, bush privy, you know, uh, five, one of those contractor buckets with a seat on it over in the bush over there. There's another tent spot here down this uh, trail. We got a little squirrel. Running up the cedar over there. So he's going right up to the top now. There he is. I think we'll leave his, him, him alone. And this is where we set up. Up over here. At uh, this tent spot. Put the lake out over here. To give you a, a nice view. So, it was a good sight. It was quiet. We were able to get a little bit of a, a wind come in. Last night through here and with the angle of the tent, we was able to feel very little breeze, but most of the nights the wind just died in the evening and uh, there was nothing, no wind. Um, problem with this, this site, because it's easy to get to and a lot of people come here, is uh, again, like you saw, some of the waste that was here. But we could see this from shore uh, when we paddled around the island yesterday. Uh, you can see the, the scattering of the white over here. Well, all of that is wet ones, uh, just littering the, the ground from, uh, you know, campers in the past. Uh, it's all fine to use those things, but either burn them or pack them out. Uh, I think it's just lack of knowledge. Uh, you know, hopefully, that's the big thing. And, uh, you know, a lot of people, if you take a course like we offer, you know, those teach you a few of those things, just kind of reinforce it. But... Uh, you know, and like more garbage. And apparently uh, Bruce had cleaned up a lot of it before, before I, we even got here. So, um, like I say, bush throne, thunder box, whatever you want to call it. There you go. You know, why well, leave marks and, and wet ones all over the place when someone's built a specific throne for waste? You know, uh, I don't get it, but, oh well, it's been a good trip, we're just packing up, probably about 10.30, 11 o'clock now, slow start, but uh, three hour paddle back, the wind's behind our back, so I think it'll be good, so we'll talk to you later, bye bye. Okay you guys, don't do any foolish, you're on video here, you see, so you'll... Uh... Well, he just stepped on a spider, so that's great. Do. Do Diana, Diana, don't pull us ahead, yeah, pull us out, not his head. Survive. Here we are departing Kilvert Island.
and Kyle takes the appropriate job, I'm going to hang on and let somebody else carry the heavy stuff. Work smart, not but, hard. But, but those of us who are older have to show these young fellows that we know how to do it, right, Sean? That's good, Dan. There's Dan. Hello, Dan. Hello. Nice following wind to leave the island. Much better than the northwest one on the way in. That's going to pull you out to some degree. Well, keep, keep doing, see what you can do. Not enough wind. Seventeen seventy-eight. How I wish I was in Sherbrooke now. A letter of mark come from the king to the scummiest vessel I'd ever seen. God damn them all. I was told we'd cruise the seas for American gold. We'd fire no guns, shed no tears. Now I'm a broken man on a Halifax pier, the last to bear its privateers. Oh, a lucid bear it cried the town, how I wish I was in Sherbrooke now. For twenty brave men, all fishermen, who would make for him the antelope's crew, god damn them all. I was told we'd cruise the seas for American gold, we'd fire no guns, shed no tears. Now I'm a broken man on a Halifax pier, the last to bear its privateers. The antelope sloop was a sickening sight, how I wish I was in Sherbrooke now. She'd list to the port and her sails in rags, and the cook with the scuppers and the staggers and jags, god damn them all. I was told we'd cruise the seas for American gold, we'd fire no guns, shed no tears. Now I'm a broken man on a Halifax pier, the last to bear its privateers. On the king's birthday we put to sea, how I wish I was in Sherbrooke now. We were ninety-one days to Montego Bay, pumping like madmen all the way, god damn them all. I was told we'd cruise the seas for American gold, we'd fire no guns, shed no tears. Now I'm a broken man on a Halifax pier, the last to bear its privateers. On the 96th day we sailed again, how I wish I was in Sherbrooke now. When a bloody great Yankee have in sight, with our cracked four pounders we made to fight, god damn them all. I was told we'd cruise the seas for American gold, we'd fire no guns, shed no tears. Now I'm a broken man on a Halifax pier, the last to bear its privateers. The Yankee lay low down with gold, how I wish I was in Sherbrooke now. She was broad and fat and loose and stays, but the catcher took the antelope two whole days, god damn them all. I was told we'd cruise the seas for American gold, we'd fire no guns, shed no tears. Now I'm a broken man on a Halifax pier, the last to bear its privateers. And then at length we stood two cables away, how I wish I was in Sherbrooke now. Our cracked four pounders made an awful din, but with one fat ball the Yanks stove us in, god damn them all. I was told we'd cruise the seas for American gold, we'd fire no guns, shed no tears. I'm a broken man on a Halifax pier, the last to bear its privateers. The antelope shook and pitched on her side, how I wish I was in Sherbrooke now. 
Barrett was smashed like a bowl of eggs, and the main trunk carried off both me legs, god damn them all. I was told we'd cruise the seas for American gold, we'd fire no guns, shed no tears. I'm a broken man on a Halifax pier, the last of Barrett's privateers. So here I lay in my 23rd year, how I wish I was in Sherbrooke now. It's been six years since we sailed away, and I just made Halifax yesterday, god damn them all. I was told we'd cruise the seas for American gold, we'd fire no guns, shed no tears. I'm a broken man on a Halifax pier, the last of Barrett's privateers. Got a campsite right here. You see provincial fire pit, some wood, nice little island, and uh, that one right there is a little itty bitty island right here on the lake. That's where we are. It's right there. There's the provincial park, that little island, just south of Big Island. Right there. That's the site. That's not bad. Campground's just over that way, so it's fairly quick to get to. Just a little out of the wind. I'm just starting to try to get some white caps. But, uh, we're almost there. In a kilometer or two more. And that's what will be in the books. Ready for some help? Sir. So our companions told us about another one. It's just off over there. And you can see it right in there. Uh, it's a little site. It's on the tip of the island, south of Big Island. Uh, the last one I showed you was right over there. This one's right over here. And it is right on the tip of this island, right there. So we'll try to mark the coordinates for that one. There are some cottages down on this end, but that's right on the tip. So two, two here, real close. Very nice. And we'll mark that one really quickly. Still got time to kill. 275 minutes right here. Oh well. <laughs>